So we made uh, pancakes this morning and uh, last time I made them we ran out of syrup. We get uh, good maple syrup that we stashed for me and my wife and the boys get the uh, cattle grade, you know, Aunt Jemima or whatever uh, the case may be. So I was out buying new syrup at the supermarket and noticed this giant jug of Aunt Jemima and I did a price comparison between the regular containers and this is like half the price. So I thought, hey, that's awesome. We already do this with maple syrup. I bought a big gallon jug of maple syrup last year and you basically just can it up in mason jars. It'll keep forever that way uh, when you're using it. So this is Aunt Jemima in there from, from the jug just have one of these things for uh, you know you open a jar you fill it up in there away you go so that's basically all I'm gonna do I'm not gonna go through the whole process with you because I got enough canning videos online you'll be able to see how to do that if you want uh, but basically I'm just gonna fill these jars and throw them in my pressure canner here and pressure can them and put them on the shelf down in the pantry downstairs and that's basically it so it should work great oh and there's my two kids at each other's throats upstairs screaming bloody murder always good to have that in the middle of the video so that's basically all I'm doing filling them up and then can it all up in my pressure canner. Done and done. Oh yeah, there we go. I may have a dead child by the end of this video, but it sounds like what's going on up there. Well, that's not bad syrup actually as far as these kinds of syrups go. Non-maple syrup, oh my goodness. Mmm, that sounds intense. <laughs> oh my, I think I better go look into that. And I will see you later. Alright, the kids are still alive up there. I think I calmed that down for the moment. I got some more mason jars. These are uh, two cup mason jars. And so two, four, six, Let's see how many I get. Plus there's the, uh, I already filled up the thing, the other thing there, which I think is another two cups. So two, four, six, eight. This says it is four liters. Two, four, six, eight would be four quarts. So that's about four and a half U.S. quarts, which is about four liters. So that's, that's pretty good. Just going to put the lids on them, process them in my pressure canner, all pretty normal stuff and save quite a bit of money on syrup. Now with the amount of syrup I have here I probably won't be buying syrup for another year or so by the looks of it. And that's that.